right, guys, we are going to review a little bit. That's why I drew the uh, arrow down below here. We're talking about adjacent and vertical angles today, but I want to review um, angles down here. So remember an angle that is greater than zero and zero degrees, but less than 90. That's called acute. Aw, isn't it an acute one? That's an acute angle. Remember the one that has the right angle box in there? That means it's 90 degrees, and that's why they call that a right angle. This is a symbol for angle. Notice that this next one is greater than 90, but less than 180 degrees. That's called obtuse. That's an obtuse angle. And then my line isn't very straight, but that's a straight line, which equals 180 degrees. So we call that a straight angle, okay? That's a review. You guys talked about those in elementary school. All right, so if you are sitting next to somebody, you are adjacent to them, okay? Adjacent angles are two angles that share a common side, which is called a ray, okay? Now, when you draw an angle, okay, here you have an angle, goes on forever. This is called the vertex of the angle. And these right here, since they start at a point, that's a ray. Like the sunshine, it comes from the sun and it goes all the way, penetrates to the ground. Those are rays, okay? So when we are naming an angle, we name the angle by with the vertex in the center. So if I'm going to name this angle right here, I call it angle A... B, D, okay, A, B, D. The vertex point B is in the middle. I could also call it angle D, B, A. You just have to make sure that the vertex is in the center, okay? So it says two angles that share a common side. If I look at angle A, B, D, I have to list one that has this a common ray. So I can name this one right here, which I would call that one angle A, B, E. I could have also used this angle up here because it shares this common side. I could have said angle D, B, C, okay? Those are adjacent angles. I can also name another one. Let's do another one. I'm gonna say angle D, B, C, which is this angle right here. And then one that shares a common side would be angle, I'm gonna use this one right here because it shares that common side. So I'm gonna call that angle C, B, E. Angles that share a common side, they are adjacent. Vertical angles are two angles that are across or opposite of each other and are formed by intersecting lines. So if I draw one like this, there's a line and it intersects with this line, okay? If I call this angle one, this is angle two, this is angle three, and this is angle four, the ones that sit across from each other are one and three, okay? So I can say angle one and angle three are vertical, and, but so are angle two and angle four, okay? They sit right across from each other. And I wanna show you something. If I say angle one is 60 degrees, angle, this is, forms a straight line, 
okay? This forms a straight line, and we know a straight angle is 180 degrees. So I can find angle two. All I do is take 180 degrees for the straight angle minus the 60 degrees. So this angle two would be 120 degrees. Well, the same thing can be true here. If that's a straight angle, if angle two is 120 degrees, then angle three would have to be 180 minus 120, which this one's 60 degrees. And the same thing can be true about angle four. I would take 180 minus 60, which is 120 degrees. What you guys need to know is that vertical angles, the ones that sit across from each other, are always, this is the symbol, it's called congruent. That says congruent, which means that their measures are equal. So you notice the measure of angle one is 60 degrees. And its vertical angle, measure of angle three, is also 60 degrees. You have got to know that vertical angles are always congruent. Okay, so it says name two pairs of adjacent angles and two pairs of vertical angles. Okay, adjacent, sitting right next to each other. I'm going to say angle, I'm going to use B, G, C. And I can say one of them that shares this side right here. I'm just going to use that one. There are so many of these. So I'm going to say angle C, G, D. Notice how they both have G, C, and C, G. That's the, that means they share that side. Well, let's also use angle, um, let's go back and use angle, F, G, E, angle F, G, E. And find another angle that shares a common side. Well, I'm gonna share F, G. I can say F, G, A. So angle F, G, A, those are adjacent. They sit right next to each other. Vertical angles, well, you can kind of see the ones in red. See how these two sit right across from each other? I'm gonna say angle A, G, F, and angle C, uh, G, D are vertical, which means that they are congruent, okay? Well, let's pick um, this angle, B, G, C. Angle B, G, C. An angle, the one that sits across from it, is angle F, G, E. Those are vertical angles. Okay, the next one say, tell whether the angles are adjacent or vertical, then find X. Well, they're talking about this angle and this angle. Don't they sit right next to each other? These would be called adjacent. Okay, and then you have to find X. Notice that these two angles form a straight line. So in order to find X, all I do, a straight line measures 180 degrees, and I subtract off the 132 degrees, so I know angle X has to be 48 degrees. Look at the next one. These two angles sit across from each other, don't they? Since they sit across from each other, they are vertical. Okay, what do we remember about vertical angles? They are equal. If you look at the next one, this one right here, <clears throat> notice this angle is sitting next to this angle, right? It also tells you that it has a box in there. Okay, so the first thing we need to look at is that they are adjacent angles because they sit right next to each other. But, they both form a 90 degree angle, which means if I add this angle to that angle, they equal 90. So I'm gonna write an algebraic equation. So I'm gonna say 69 plus 2x minus one equals 90 degrees because they sit next to each other and they form 90 degrees. So do your math. Keep change opposite, 68 plus negative one 
or sorry, 69 plus negative 1 is 68. I'm getting all excited about doing this. Equals 90. Get your wallet, subtract 68 on both sides. And you get 2x is equal to 22. Get your wall up, divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to 11. Okay, this is your workbook page. It says tell where the, the angles are adjacent or vertical, then find x. Notice this angle sits right next to this angle, so they are adjacent. And Notice if I add this one and this one, they equal 90 degrees. So on this one, I could do x plus 41 equals 90, or I could just take 90 minus 41 and I get x is equal to 49 degrees. Okay? Notice on number four, x is sitting next to 109, so they're adjacent. All you have to do is take 180 minus 109 degrees to get x. So x is going to equal 71 degrees. Number five, notice this angle sits across from that angle. So they are vertical and we know vertical angles are equal. So write an equation x plus 42 has to equal the other one of 2x plus 1. Okay, now this one might be a little bit difficult, more difficult. So I'm not going to solve that. Look at number six. This angle sits next to this angle, so they're adjacent. And they form a straight line together. So if I add them together, x plus 96 plus that 5x angle, that should equal 180 degrees. Use your algebra. That's a 1x plus 5x is 6x plus 96 equals 180. Okay, you're going to put your wall up, subtract 96 on both sides. And you get 6x equals 84. Divide both sides by 6. And x is going to equal 14. Pretty simple.